Hello guys, Messenger of Death here, and we are back once again with some more Fallout London. Now, last time was, let's be honest, an absolute shit show. Uh, <laughs> well, the past few episodes, because I, uh, I split that up, but you know, it was absolutely crazy. It really were. But, uh, yeah, I want to get Churchill back. But the issue is being able to. Oh, those foxes, the mangy foxes. Let's avoid them. Okay, Dom's Cafe. Which reminds me, I still haven't done my perks because I forgot to, you know? Oh, I'll sort it out. Oh, so we gotta go through everything to get to him. Next song to all of you who love to travel. This is the wanderer. Right. I don't want to die. Please, don't hurt me. That was an accident. I only joined but the syndicate did it. last week. I was just in it for the money. I never wanted to see no blood. Please, please let me live. I promise I'll leave this gang shit behind. You really expect mercy in this world, you fool. <laughs> well, that was. dreadful. She fucked me up. She really fucked me up. Damn. <sighs> oh, now I have to sell everything again. I picked everything up and sold it all, and now I've got to do it all again. You know what? I could do that after. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, there is a doll in here, which I found. Could... Katet Fulu. I don't even think it comes for you buddy to pick up the doll. It feels like oddly heavy in your hands. So this doll basically is a quest behind it. So I wonder. No creature represents a danger or blight as much as the Womble. Which uses very shot close to rip a pipe. It's pretty in seconds. Is that right? Right, this time I'm just going to sneak attack her with impunity. But yeah, I did sell everything in that barn. Got me another stim pack and some more water, but... I guess I'll have to do that again. But yeah, Iron Brew is the most popular British soda before the war, apparently. I mean, it's not that popular, I promise you. Mr. Robo is a British act in the late 19th and early 20th century, we're known for its reliability and robust, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Level up. Okay. Alright, here we go. Right. Hide the ineligible perks. And I'm actually going for something else this time. I'm going for sneak. And ninja. For extra sneak attack. Because I really want to start sneaking. Uh, I feel like sneak's just going to be so important to me on this difficulty. That I kind of can't ignore it, you know? So, yeah, we'll make it work. Alright, yeah, this way. You've just listened to he's a demon, he's a devil, he's a doll. Well, he's dead? That's my question. 
Be affected by an in room, but took antibiotics or visiting doctors. Doctors. I've got an illness now. Fatigue. Require frequent. Didn't I sleep? Now I'm thirsty as well. I can't hit. Ah! God, I don't understand why I can't kill anything. Like, everything destroys me completely. But yeah, I guess I don't have to sleep. It like it saved the game, but didn't sleep. Somehow. Ah, pain. Fine. I feel well rested. But yeah, Elliot said I was... Oh, whatever. Whatever. Apparently I was fatigued. Somehow. Sure. Let's grab my doll back. That's not what I meant to do. He's a demon. He's a devil. I honestly want to change because right now my power attack is my alt key, which I don't like, you know? I really don't like it. Well, yeah, I think stealth, melee, would be kind of what I want to go with. Right. I'm not dying this time. This is ridiculous. Uh, hang on. I'm thirsty. I, I just don't like this. this. This annoys me. I just have to use the mouse. Because I'm trying to use the buddy keypad so I can do with uh, Skyrim. But yeah, it's clearly not happening. Am I still thirsty? Did that quench my thirst? No, it doesn't. So you do definitely just need water. You can't supplement it with alcohol. Noted. No, I'm not thirsty anymore, am I? It's just ain't worth it. So now, now I've got a fractured limb. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't, I, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. I just feel like everything is too strong for me right now. Literally everything. I can't kill like a weakling rag. Regstag, no. 
Where even the fall on rags like a doe, a baby? Like, m everything is just destroying me right now really badly. And it's... Leave me sat there scratching my head like... Am I going to be able to actually pull this melee build off? You know? Because so far... It looks pretty much impossible. Yeah. Screw you. I'm in a bad mood. Ah, I'm just failing horribly at this. I really should start using guns more. Mix it in. I know I don't really have much for vats. But, uh... Yeah. I feel like it'd just be best. Speaking of vats, I don't even know how I enter vats. It never told me. Uh, I don't remember what the button is on keyboard. Is it me or does it keep getting progressively lighter? Level up. Do level up. Yeah, just leave the devils alone. He's a demon. He's a devil. He's a doll. By Betty Hutton. Butcher Pete is coming up next in our track list. I always get hungry whenever we listen to this song. Right. Let's just get this over with. Right. Actually, settings, controls. How do I go into VATS? Q. Take that. Carrot, a makeshift knife, and a denim jacket. Huh. Suppose I could sell it. As well as a bunch of this stuff, too. The one thing that I do dislike is it doesn't tell me the value of items. Unless I'm in my inventory. Sell these for a bunch of money. Hard cider, hard cider. I can start selling these alcohols then because uh, they don't sort my thirst at all. Applesauce. Mm -hmm. 
potted fungus, pot plunger, and whatever. Yeah. Newspaper. How much am I weighing? 101. Oh, I could pick up plenty more. Everything sells for at least one cap, and one cap is better than no caps. You know? So. Anything I can take that I can sell for money right now is just greatly needed. Hey! Can I make anything? Lovely! Little bud steak? Yeah? Good red roach? Red tree? Lovely! Alright, we've got some else. Much chops. Once again, Butcher Pete by Roy Brown. I've got food. We have another paid advertisement. Good food now. And they've asked Olivia to read it. This one comes straight to us from God's mouth. Or rather, from his representatives on Earth. Yeah, we'll exit. The staff at St. Paul's Sanctuary would like us to remind you all that they are Shift a battery. A mixed saucepan and a mob bucket. <laughs> Literally anything I'll trade for caps at this point to help me. Because I'm getting absolutely destroyed. I don't know, I want to say it. I want to turn on the radio, see if I could. You know? Alright, let's go back. Hand in the glass. Oh, wait. Lovely. I almost missed that. Well, I'm back. Are those doughs still sleeping? They are. This one I didn't even notice. <laughs> Lovely! Yeah, I need to start relying on Vats more. That clearly made a big difference. This is it, I've been hit. Something's chittering around there. I like to say, colors go. More bodies getting shot done. Never hurt anything. Yeah. Suppose so, Governor. All right. I'm gonna go get my telephones and stuff that I left behind up here, so I can sell them. Because why not? Get some supplies. Hi, you timber. Watch out for flying glass. Yeah, 143 out of 100 is fair. Let's go sell stuff. Finally making progress. Oh my gosh. Took me long enough.
Well. You get them? Yeah, it's sorted. That was orange Good. Uh, you seem efficient. I like that. Gaunt said to give you some tickets for your troubles. Here. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough tickets. What are these? You're really not from these ends, are you? Tube tickets, money, dosh, moolah. What we use for trade round here. It's the standard currency all over London. Over here is the Swan and Mitre, the most ancient pub in the whole of London. Us vagabonds have had our home here for decades. Even through the toughest times. We have some other safe houses, but let's keep them ash for now. Follow me and I'll get you acquainted with our chiefs. It's not just a loss of men. We're hurting for ammo and other supplies. They keep hitting us like this, and they'll win for attrition. Fucking dogs. We should hit them back, right this minute. Easy now. Something stupid like that is exactly what they want to provoke. We've got to keep our heads. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrum. I need to go think. Never mind what Gaunt says, sweetie. He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot, and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. Very well, understood. What do you mean he's been through a lot? The Island Dog Syndicate has hurt us all in different ways. Some have scars you can see, some have scars you don't see. Gaunt was hurt deep. So he's a leader here? ever since both his parents died. <coughs> the lad, he's a good boss, and cares a lot for all of us. He just don't always show it so well. I see. Understood. I've got to go now, but stick around, sweetie. We're good people when you get to know us. Boy, newcomer. I think I still hear you breathing over there. Come over here and we'll have a go. Need help? Yeah. Uh, can you spare medical supplies? What do you need? Right. So first of all, let's have a look. I want your stim pack. Because I need I need more of those. And then I got to my aid. I've got a load of Alcarcelia, which would do me good. Um, coffee, nice. Conkers. Didn't know you could eat con. Oh yeah, you can you eat conkers? I know we use them for a game here in the UK, but I didn't know you could eat them. Well, I guess so. There's uh, kind of nuts to a degree, aren't they? So I suppose it does kind of make sense. Hard cider. Yeah, I'll get some money for that. Scotch. Discount Nelson Ale. Whiskey and wine. And then we'll scroll over. And then junk, yeah. Sell all this to you. Get all that money. Look at that. Almost as if we didn't purchase one at all. She got 48 from me, but I can go over to that pub and loot it and sell everything to her. Let's we'll speak to Nelson first. Till Winston said they fished you out some lead down the pinder. If I still had eyes, I'd say we're pulling the wool over them. But Gaunt backed him up, and he's not the fanciful type. Well, pleased to meet you, Wayfarer. My name's Blind Nelson. I'm Sebastian's right-hand man, and I was the same to his father back when he was the boss of the Vagabonds. I can't see no more, but I've been round the houses far longer than anyone else here, and my brain still ticks as good as ever. Very well. You, uh... You don't look so well. So you're a commuter, Nelson? Well, check out the eyes on this one. Yeah, there's a bunch of us commuters about. Something to do with radiation and whatnot. I never much cared why. I lost my skin to it back when I was young, and I've stayed like this ever since. You get used to it. There are some what call us ghouls. Cheeky bastards. <laughs> you tell me more about the vagabonds? We keep the order around Bromley. Stop the hooligans, keep businesses protected. Manage goods in and out, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah? We're popular with the locals, which is more than you can say for most gangs around London. Times are hard, though. We're at war with the Isle of Dogs, and they've got more men and more guns than us. So what do you need? Simple fact is, my radio's broke, and I'm lost without it. 
Sebastian keeps me around for what brains I have, but without my radio, I'm deprived of some very necessary intel. Oh, yeah? I need someone with a pair of eyes and a pair of legs to fix it. You fit the bill, right? <laughs> Here's the broken radio. Go find Chill Winston and ask him if he has any parts to fix it. Bullet Tooth Anthony is a workbench for when you got the bits. Bring it back here when it's all working smoothly and you're done. Easy, right? Sure thing, sure. I'll get started on that. You got the radio done up? Oh, I'll just let you Not the fastest fish in the tank, are ya? All right, I'll wait some more. It's been like a second. <laughs> like cheeky bastard. If you hang around, hello, mate. Nice to see you again. What can I do you for? Uh, can you tell me about the vagabonds one? What are you walking away from me for? What the hell are dogs in the Canary Wolf, acting all poncy like, bunch of clowns if you ask me. But they're also our sworn enemies, and a lot of the cause of our supply shortages. Very I well. keep telling the lads, shoot your bullets accurately for a dog skull, and you'll have more bullets left for more dogs. Everyone's happy then. Fair. You tell me about the well, we're the loveliest group of lads and lasses you'll find around any part of London. We're not loonies running around pretending to be knights, and we're not posh trash trying to lord it over everyone. We stand up for the little people. We keep our neighbourhood safe. What more could you ask for? Um, what do you do around I'm it? Master. I try to keep supplies topped up, keep things running smoothly. Not easy, you know, but I make sure we get by. What do you think of Sebastian He's Gorn? The boss. Enough said. Fair. Why well, Nelson needs radio fits as you enter the pass? Hey, let's have a butcher's. Looks like he needs a new antenna. I'll have one in a box somewhere, I'm sure. But look, whilst I'm rooting around for that, I've got a job for you. Of course you do. One of my main suppliers is running late with a delivery, and she's never late. I'm worried something's gone wrong. But after the latest attack here, I can't leave my post to see. I want you to nip down to Nadia's on Deptford Eye Street to check in on things. And get me the package if it's ready. By the Very time well. you're back, I'll have the antenna for you. Right, so what I'm, I'm going to... Wanting me to be a farmer. Well, I'll get my hands dirty in other ways. Cool. Right, so, yeah, I'm going to call the episode here. We got a little bit done. I'm going to loot that pub and sell everything again and then sleep so it's saved. Go get Churchill back and then we'll get on with carrying on with this quest bit. Because right now we really need to see where this leads. I'm, I'm really intrigued and then, you know, once we're done a bit further down this quest line, we might explore the no, wasteland a bit. Right if you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.